We're back in Nairobi. We checked into an Airbnb. We went out to support a friend's event. We went out. Didn't like the cold, so we flew out to Khalifi, checked into a beach resort. You'll get a tour and review of the entire place. Got ourselves a boat. Checked out the Khalifi channel with some friends. Keep watching to see all the places with good vibes. So let me show you more and let's go. So we're here in Australia. We just checked in. So let's have a look at the new unit. As soon as you walk in, you're faced with the bedroom and the washroom. Nice and simple, everything looks good. For the bedroom. Okay, this place actually looks pretty good. A large queen size bed, nice, very nice. A decent view. Takes us to the kitchen. No dishwasher, but you know, people come in and help. And last but not least, Little dining area for two. You got your standard television seating. And a quaint little balcony. Let's check out the amenities at Astoria. The cushions are away, but there's a modest patio. We have a pool and a gym right next to each other. Gym has free weights, cardio machines, and a lot of cables. And then at the end there, you can see there's a bar and a Smith machine for all compound movements. So there's block A, here's block B, and there's block C. Three buildings for a little community. At the roof, there isn't much other than seeing the pool and the gym overall and the view of Nairobi's landscape, which is very beautiful, but it is very cold. So we're considering going to Khalifi. We'll probably go because we are considering the vibe. But before that, our boy DJ Hypnotic is performing today. He invited us to come to one of his store opening events. So let's go downstairs and get ready and head out. 2,000 years later. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're at Yaya Center here I'm back in Nairobi. DJ Hypnotic. We're selling up at Inkata. It's a timepiece watch that I'm going to like open up in Yaya Center, Nairobi. Beautiful watch piece collection. Uh, what do you guys think of the pieces? Really nice. Really, really nice. It's really cool, guys. Check them out. They're really nice. And from here on in, we'll uh, have a look at them. This place came highly recommended. You guys let me know down below which place you would recommend. The ambiance, the decor, the vibe here is really decked out. It's really dope. This place is none other than Inti. It's a Peruvian cuisine and it offers an amazing view as well. After having such delicious food, we ended up walking around the city and we ended up at Pins. That's what's up. A lot of fun. This place is a vibe. That's what I'm saying. Come through. Love it. There's a lot of people around here. Come bowling. Come. Guess at the name of this club because I have no idea. <laughs> Several song filled hours later. We are heading to the Pingo Airport to get to Khalifi. Essentially, Nairobi is way too cold, so we decided to head the sun and enjoy the weather by the coast. Just came back from my Saimara, which was really nice, and that inspired us for a warmer climate. And we're off. We have the fifth largest African mountain, Mount Meru, on the left, and on the right is Mount Kilimanjaro, the largest one in Africa. All right, so we made our first stop here in Pingo. Rich airport basically from Nairobi to here, then we take an Uber or a cab to drive all the way to Khalifa. 
avoid this mistake that I just did. There is no Uber here and there's no cabs waiting outside like a regular airport. This place is completely deserted, completely underdeveloped. Make sure you plan your pickup before you get there. After about a 10 minute wait for our driver to come pick us up from the Pingo airport that the security guard, the one security guard in the whole airport helped us with. It took about 40 minutes to get from the airport to this place, Ocean House. It's a beachfront property. You have your own pool and it overlooks the ocean. How great is that? I love it. Be sure to pick up groceries from your local Nivis before you check in here because, you know, you're going to need it. We're waiting for our friends to come down from the terrace, that way we can hop on this boat and head for a sunset down the channel. Nothing beats a sunset dab with your friends. Don't forget to bring your speakers, food and drinks. So you got the terrace there, Manarani, Khalifi Bridge, Nivis, Nautilus, White Star. I normally don't like slimy food, including oysters, but here at Nautilus, they take care of that. They bake their oysters. Get the Nautilus oysters or the Mediterranean oysters. Both are really bangers, okay? Bangers. Overall, the food is really good. If you're here in Clarifi, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to visit Nautilus. So locals are telling me the legend goes that Swahili was born in Khalifi between some Bantu and Arab children that used to hang out here a long time ago in these cliffs and bushes and this greenery over here. And they got together and created their own sequel language. And today that's Swahili. Khalifi is such a beautiful place. Not only are the beaches and the sunset here to die for, but the food and people here are even better. What's really cool, I didn't know this, but Khalifi apparently is the capital of Kenya when it comes to street pharmaceuticals. So if that's your scene, be sure to visit here. If that's not your scene, there's still so much more to do here. You guys are going to love it either way. Good morning on this wet, gloomy day. We are checking out a new place. We're checking into Manorani Club. Looks like these guys offer organized games and activities. They do offer buffet meals. I prefer eat as I go and drink as I go, especially since I go out into the city quite often. Here we got a bachelor, double sized bed with the mosquito net. Comes with the fridge, a mirror, a little bit of refreshments. We got the closet, the shower, tub, here's the washroom. Then we have the balcony. Beautiful view. If you haven't yet, make sure to smash all of this and smash all of that. And also, if you're staying here at Manorani Club, all their water equipment that you see here and more is offered complimentary. It, yes, it is for free. As long as it doesn't have a motor, you can use it. All you have to do is go there and register and join the line. What's, what's going on? So there's a foot and mouth disease uh, caught by cows. So this has um, meds mm. okay, for this upcoming journey. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to put another hot spot onto your radar called the food movement. This place is off the beaten path, not a lot of people know about it. But if you're in Khalifi, be sure to check them out. This place is a vibe. If you're a real one, make sure to hit that like button and watch this video where we stayed with the Maasai warriors at a mine luxury camp. <laughs> 